Hey guys, I know it's been a really long time. I know I say this in every video. I've really just been busy and stressed out, but I really want to make videos. I really do. I just need to find some time. With that being said, I do want to share with you guys that I am separating from the military, which takes up a ton of my time along with being a parent and whatnot. I also kind of messed up my laptop, so I haven't really been able to um, make videos or, excuse me, edit my videos. I do have an iPad and I do have like editing options or tools on my phone. I just, I think it's easier to just use a laptop. My purpose of making this video is basically to tell you guys that I will be back. I will be making more, um, more videos. The last video I think I left y'all on was my PCOS video with um as far as like explaining my weight gain and all that other stuff long story short it ultimately kind of forced me into a medical evaluation board uh, which would obviously um, push me out of the air force but instead of waiting for the air force to go through the long drawn on process which sometimes could take up to a year to 18 months I chose not to do that mostly because they chose to start the process in April knowing that my separation date from the Air Force is in August so I chose to submit my date of separation I got approved so I will be separating from the Air Force in August I don't know how, how to feel about it like I really did go through Look, I got dark circles under my eyes. I'm just so stressed and tired. And trying to get out of the military is probably harder than getting in the military. It's just a lot of stuff that goes on, a lot of stuff that goes into it. And it's just a lot. It's just a lot. I don't know how else to say it. It's just a lot. It's a lot of things you have to do. A lot of places you got to go. A lot of people you got to see. Get signed off from this. Get signed off from that. Make sure you get your money. Like all kinds of stuff that goes into getting out of the military which really is like. Can you just give me a box so I can put my stuff in it and leave? That's how I wish it was but it's not. It's a lot that go into getting out of the military. But I wouldn't change a thing. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start my new journey. The new chapter of my life with myself and my family. Being able to be in more control of my life is something that I'm really looking forward to. Initially, did not know what I wanted to do when I got out. Like, I think it just hit me like, damn, what am I do? A lot of military members, we have trouble with fitting back into the civilian world because we're so used to things being a certain way, having someone always there to tell you what to do, when to do it, or to even be in that role of the person telling people what to do and when to do it. And so moving into the civilian world where you're basically starting back from the bottom, it's, it's rough. After 10 years serving in the military, I'm kind of just like, damn. I was applying for jobs, government jobs, civilian jobs, or whatever. I want to be an entrepreneur, basically. I want to work for myself. I don't want to work for other people. I'm a very ambitious person. A lot of times, it takes a kick in the ass for me to get to where I need to be on the right route or whatever. I just had to like be real with myself, like, okay, well, you want to work for yourself, what you want to do, you know? And I thought that cosmetology school would be fun. I will be able to do what I want, look how I want, do my hair how I want. Like, I think a lot of military people go through that. They get out the military and they're like, oh, I'm about to wild out because I don't have no regulations telling me what color my hair should be, how my hair should be pulled up, or how my makeup should look. I don't have any restrictions. I had to think bigger than that, you know, because I do have two kids that I need to put through college. And my husband, as men do, they rely on things that aren't guaranteed. He's like, oh, our kids, they'll get some type of scholarship or they'll have to join, or they'll have to join the military. I don't want them to have to do anything. I want them to be able to make decisions based on that, their opportunity. Me and him joined the military because what else were we supposed to do? I'm sorry, this Florida weather got me all dewy. I don't want my kids to have to do anything, which is why I got my bachelor's degree because I was like, I don't want to have to re-enlist because when I re-enlisted the first time, it's because I had to. I didn't have a choice. Like I needed money to take care of my family. I earned my bachelor's degree online, which most military people do because we cannot go to school because we work 
seven thirty, four thirty, something. And then sometimes our shifts changes. Sometimes we work twelve hour shifts. It's just unpredictable. So it's it's not ideal for us to be going to campus and going to school. Some people do it, uh, but it's not ideal for most of us, depending on your job. I'm still kind of starting off from ground zero. I have my bachelor's in criminal justice, but it's not really a field I want to work in. It's not really... Actually, when I realized that I didn't want to work in a criminal justice field, it was already too late. Like, I was already in my core classes. I started my master's degree, um, but then I... Man, I've been in three different graduate programs. Um, the first one was Homeland Defense. Who am I kidding? Like, I'm good. Uh, the second one was in psychology. It's a lot of pressure knowing everybody's deepest, darkest secrets. I feel like I'm too emotional to deal with something like that, so I decided to switch to an educational track. I thought I wanted to be a teacher. I, I do like teaching, don't get me wrong, because I'm teaching now, but military students. I also had to think, like, is this something that I really want to do? They don't get paid what they deserve, and then it's very competitive from what I've been hearing. I, I feel like I will want to be a teacher in my future, like, when I'm older. I also had to consider putting my kids through college. How am I going to put my kids through college on a teacher salary well, I decided that I was going to go to dental school because I love teeth not in a creepy way like I don't collect teeth they're so pretty the first thing I recognize on a person are their teeth their smile the second thing I, I recognize or I notice on a person is their eyes maybe this is something I want to explore while I'm still young even though from what I hear you can never be too old to go to dental school but I decided to do it now instead of later. With that being said, I got accepted into a college to do um, my prerequisites for dental school. To get those science-based classes, I only have one science class. I only had to take one science class and a lab. I got to take biology, different types of biology, different types of chemistry, physiology, and calculus classes. So yeah, I got a long, a big load ahead of me, but my goal is to get all A's so that I can get into whatever dental school I want. So I can be competitive. I really want to take you guys on a journey with me as I transition out of the military and as I go into my new, go on this new venture. I start school August 23rd. I go to orientation July 25th. So I'm excited, I'm so excited. I've never been a college student on a campus. Gonna be different and new or whatever. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm more than ready. I'm just ready to go. And um, this out processing from the military has been very long and strenuous. Everything goes wrong. I would love to take you guys around with me for out processing, but you know how the military do. If you guys have any questions as far as like the process of getting out, VA questions, I've also been going through that process. Just hit me up, let me know, and I'll be back with another video. Alright guys, bye!